Hey everyone, welcome to the weekend. I hope everybody's doing great. I'm Icy. And if you saw my video yesterday, you know I went to the Dana Point Boat Parade here in California. I had so much fun. It was really great. All the lights, all the boats, all the fun, all the dancing. Um, we had good food, we had uh, good friends. It was just a lot of fun. So um, I just had a great time, but I'm glad to be back here online with you guys. And um, now before I get started with my new day, with Saturday here, um, which by the way, I'm excited about as well because my daughter, who is um, in college right now, is actually coming home for the winter break. So I'm gonna be going there, picking up, her, loading her up for stuff, getting her all packed up. But I wanted to jump on, I know I'm on a little earlier than usual, um, because I wanted to talk to you about something that I thought would be important because it was something I struggled with when I started with um, uh, my network business. Um, so I wanted to talk to you about how um, you can recruit network marketers into your business, okay? So in this video, I'm gonna go over five simple steps to guarantee your success in network marketing and recruit with the push of a button. All right, now this was a question, like I said earlier, that weighed heavily on me when I was first starting down this path. Back then, I was told something that really bothered me about recruiting. It was, um, I was at a nuts and bolts training meeting held by a successful distributor in my upline. Um, he was a wealthy businessman who'd made over $7 million in network marketing. So he obviously knew what it took to create success in life. You know, but um, I came to realize that really truly wasn't actually the case. Because when I got to his house, which was a big house in a very nice neighborhood, and I sat through his training session, I gotta tell you, I was so disappointed. Basically, for an hour and a half, I sat in his living room as he drew on a whiteboard, and I listened to him give this like big spiel that was mostly fluff. And worst of all, he didn't teach us anything which even remotely resembled a strategy or skill set that I could use to recruit network marketers. Instead, he kept saying, this business, it's not selling, it's sharing. You're simply sharing the business with people. You don't need to sell, you just need to share these meetings with more people. Well, this didn't make sense to me because he was basically saying that network marketing is a game of chance and didn't require any skills. I mean, if you think about it, as a businessman, well, he didn't get lucky in his business. He didn't get lucky when he graduated from graduate school. No, I mean, he, he worked really hard and he learned processes and skills for everything he did, which is how he became this entrepreneur um, by opening up his own company. And, and I'm sure that wasn't easy. And I can tell you as someone who's an attorney, I, I knew that people, and I know that people in my profession don't necessarily become successful by luck. So no matter what profession you're in, I am sure you'll agree, people become successful by learning skills and getting proficient at those skills. I mean, luck really has very little to do with it. So even though I didn't know much about network marketing back then, I knew his path couldn't have been easy and his success well, it definitely wasn't random. So after that presentation, I wanted somebody to show me a specific process that would help me build my business in a way that made sense. That to recruit other network marketers to, to my business would take skills and not luck. I wanted the network marketing success that this particular businessman had, and I wanted to know step-by-step step how he did it. And my frustration with the lack of answers is what led me to go online and find network marketing mentors who use the internet to build large teams using a strategy of strategies that they called attraction marketing. So along with giving me strategies, attraction marketing solved the number one problem in my network marketing business. And that was a lack of fresh and new prospects for my business. And I was able to find them in a very predictable way without bugging friends and family or cold prospecting strangers on the streets. But more importantly, from my mentors, I learned that success in network marketing, or any business for that matter, isn't about luck or chance or even the roll of a dice. It's strategic, skill-based, and it can be done in a predictable way. That is, it's about doing the right things in the right sequence, 
to achieve a specific, a specific result. Now, what I wanna share with you in this video are five proven strategic steps I use to guarantee my success. And this is exactly what my mentors taught me. Now I wanna help you also guarantee yours. When these five things, when done in the right order, well, they can literally create push button money, which offers you the ability to recruit network marketers with a few strokes of the keyboard on your computer. And I know this may sound hypey, but let me prove what I'm saying to you. Because just like any profession, in network marketing, you need to learn specific skills. And you need to treat what you're learning with the exact same seriousness that a businessman or an attorney treats the skill of their trade. So here's what you need first, the first um, step. Step one, strategy. A, a strategy is essentially a series of specific steps that enable you to achieve a specific goal. Now I say specific in the sense that you can draw the steps on a piece of paper or a whiteboard and map out how you're going to achieve your goal. Now if you're not being taught any semblance of a short or long-term strategy by your upline or your company, well then you need to run away and go somewhere else. I mean, really, I'm not kidding. Because you really have two choices. You can either one, develop the strategy yourself, which is going to take a lot of time, a lot of money, and trial and error. Or you can find people who have already figured out exactly how to be successful in network marketing and model their strategy. Personally, I did try to reinvent the wheel. And I'll tell you, it cost me thousands of dollars and wasted money, and it really got me into debt. It is so much better to follow a proven success from an already successful networker who's making money and doing it in a way that resonates with you. So for me, the strategy, which worked best for me, it included using online recruiting methods, which fit with my personality. So in summary, you wanna find a mentor or a company that gives you a concrete strategy for recruiting your first person, making your first sale, and eventually reaching your long-term goals, especially if you wanna recruit network marketers into your business. And if somebody hasn't proven that for you in whatever team or organization you're in, then you can, you can either need to, I mean, you'll either need to find a mentor that is willing to teach you a clear, effective strategy. Now, I've, if you want, I've provided a link in this post above this video if you would like to learn more about online recruiting. So that's available to you, and I strongly urge you to um, access this link. But let's move on. What's step number two? Step number two is simple and repeatable. And this step is the key to duplication in network marketing. You want to teach your strategy to your downline so they can go out, succeed, and make you some money in the process. And the process should be simple, but it doesn't necessarily mean it will be easy. So recall the, the businessman I was just talking about before when he said it's not selling, it's sharing. So even though I was new at that time, I, I thought it sounded truly simplistic, moronic and authentic, and I'm sorry, and inauthentic, truly inauthentic. Because I was sold into signing into the business. So why was he telling me that I didn't need to learn to do the same? Now looking back, I know why. Because number one, he assumed that the people in the room were dumb or weak and, and he made the process of building the business sound easy because he didn't want to scare us away by telling us the truth you know, that we had to learn some tangible skills. Also, number two, he was not doing what he preached. He approached his business in one way, which was skill-based, while he was telling us to do something entirely different. And this meant we couldn't duplicate even if we wanted to, because catering to weakness doesn't duplicate. As a leader in my company today, I use every single process and tactic that I teach to my students and organization. I give my team the exact same tools that I use, that I'm, and I'm constantly testing, refining, and improving my methods. And if anything changes, I let them know. That's my responsibility as a leader. Besides, developing strategies isn't the team's responsibility, it's the leader's responsibility. 
Now, I'm not saying that a, a strategy or a tactic has to be a touchdown the first time it's used by, you know, by a new rep. It just has to deliver results that can be quantified, assessed, and can be approved upon um, you know, over time. It's very likely that your first time implementing a strategy, it, well, it won't go well. And you really have to be okay with that because all you really need to do is be committed to improving and learning. Now for me, Elite Marketing Pro solved the biggest problem in network marketing for me. It was, you know, for me, it was finding new prospects to talk to every single day who were actually interested in talking to me about my network marketing or about even network marketing in general. Um, but even in addition to that, I still needed to have effective conversations to bring these prospects into my business. So in summary, the business building strategy must be repeatable and quantifiable so anyone may perform them, see results, and improve over time. Succeed in this and your recruits will recruit network marketers of their own and duplicate their success. Remember, do, get results, correct, and then repeat. All right, let's move on to step number three, experience. When you treat the strategy you're learning as seriously as you would the skills you learn in any other profession, you'll gain experience. And with that experience comes an understanding of nuance, meaning you start learning things that you just can't learn in the course or, you know, in a course or in an audio book or in a training session. Because here's the truth of the matter. If you are thinking, I want to make some money now, I can tell you right now, you're setting yourself up for failure. And I, I don't mean to be harsh by that, but get rich quick schemes, well, they're just that, they're schemes. They don't create sustainable, predictable success because the success is not based on the development of skills. So unless you treat your network marketing as a profession, you're not going to succeed. You'll also aggravate your leaders because personally, I've worked very hard to develop and learn the strategies that I've taught, and so have they. And they're gonna feel disrespected when people think that, you know, I can teach them a trick from making six figures or six figures overnight. It may seem like a trick because I'm good at what I do and I make it look easy, but trust me, it requires practice and time so that eventually it does become easy. And we'll, I'm gonna go a little further on this uh, later on when I talk about step number five. So. Even then, even if you know you do the above and, and it takes you three to six months to be effective, isn't that better than 40 plus years being at a job that you hate? I know for me, it is. Um, so if you are serious about this whole network marketing thing and you wanna be a leader yourself, you've got to be committed, gain experience, and develop an appreciation for nuance and depth of understanding that is impossible to attain in any other way. And this is, is important because it will help you develop strategies that fit your individual goals and personality. Now, sure, fundamentally, everyone building offline or online has the same basic foundation. However, we all have different approaches, different styles, and different tactics. Because over time, we all come to occupy a slightly different space in this, in this business. So as you implement a strategy, you're going to learn to customize it for your strengths and your weaknesses. And then it becomes your own. So in summary, you need to gain experience through repetition. And you need to get a new depth of understanding. Eventually, you'll start modifying tactics and processes so that your strategies fit you and fit your team, and fit your company, and fit your product, and so on and so forth. Step four, pay it forward. Once you have a strategy, a depth of understanding, and nuances, a nuance from the following steps, you know, steps one through uh, three, you'll likely have achieved success in your business. So now you're in a position to teach what you know through videos, Facebook Lives, blogging, emails, and so on. By creating a community, and communicating with people every single day, you'll pay it forward, not just for your downline, but to the industry at large. And this is gonna do two things for you. It'll 
one, it'll, you know, since people are going to notice that you're giving value and, um, and others are benefiting from it, your following is going to grow. And this is truly how I grew my community. And also, as you build your fan base, you're going to create your own personal brand and you're going to become a leader who transcends, um, you know, any one company or product. So this is the key to the final step. You want to push the button income. So once you pay it forward and develop a following by putting out great value that will help others, you'll have a following of people that want to learn more and they'll want to learn more and more from you. And that's how you'll create an empire, a loyal community that loves you and knows you, um, which will lead them to good fortune. Which brings me to my last and final step. Step five, become a force. And this is where you get the ability to sell and recruit network marketers in mass. So what do I mean by in mass? Well, this means recruiting a lot of people or selling a product to a lot of people. And you do this with the push of a button. This push of a button can be clicking send on an email, clicking start on a webinar, clicking publish on a blog post, you know, whatever your meeting, whatever medium you choose. I mean, you can even voice your call to action on Facebook Live, like I'm doing, you know, right now in this video. And people, they'll buy your products or they're going to fill out, you know, whatever form you give them to sign up for the opportunity you're presenting to them. So it's, you know, when you ask yourself about this, you know, why would you do this? And, or why would they do this? Why would they fill out the form? Why would they push the button to get your product? It's because by then they trust you and your community. And that then in turn gives you credibility because you've paid it forward and you have the skills you develop that others would like to learn. A lot of networkers actually miss these last two steps, steps four and five. They miss the part about building a community beyond their network marketing organization. So if anything goes wrong with their company or their team, they're stuck. They don't have a plan B. You want to be in a position where you're not dependent on anyone but yourself and your own brand, regardless of how awesome your company is. And that's why step number four, building a community, is so important. It allows you to do step five, which is becoming a force that no one can stop. You're able to recruit network marketers in mass at will. Now, what I just shared with you was a five-step strategy for learning and developing skills. This strategy should be something you can apply, regardless of whether you choose to build online or offline, regardless of how you choose to build to guarantee your success. These five steps will, um, are keeping in mind, find a strategy that is proven to work. Number two, make sure that strategy is, is skill-based and repeatable so you can do, result, correct, repeat. Step three, gain experience through repetition so you have an understanding of depth and nuance. And step four, pay it forward so you build a community around yourself. And finally, step five, become a force, recruit network marketers in mass and create push button money. Now, in addition to these five strategies, if you'd like to learn more about online business building strategies in addition to the ones I've already presented to you, um, and you want to, you know, generate, um, you know, red hot prospects, new customers, and business builders um, on a daily and monthly basis in a much more detailed manner. Um, I'm gonna, I would, I'm, I'm providing to you access to my free 10-day online uh, recruiting bootcamp by just clicking on the link that's above this video. Um, as soon as you finish watching the video or while you're watching the video, whatever works for you. And I promise you, you will gain experience and information that um, will show you exactly what to do and how to position yourself so you'll never have to chase, annoy, pester, or beg anybody ever to take a look at your products, your services, and your business. These methods allow you to build your business automatically where prospects will reach out to you instead of you having to reach out to them. So the bottom line here is, in today's age, you don't need to be pushy, obnoxious, or overly aggressive to build a successful business. So if you're ready to get started, click on that link above 
and access my free 10-day online recruiting bootcamp. All right, well, I hope this video has been of value to you. I'm off to get my daughter and bring her home. I'm so excited. Have a great day, everybody. Take care, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.